Fish and Chunks. Hi, everybody. Old Gare out the old fishing shack. <laughs> We're inside today because it's been raining a little bit. It looks like it may be kind of a rainy weekend, but we'll take it because the temperatures are going to be, uh, you know, 82, 3, 4, 5 degrees. And we'll take that this time of the year. That is for sure. Well, we have some good fishing reports coming your way. Good crappie fishing out at Truman. They've had some rain the last couple of days. I hope that don't affect it any. And uh, we've had good bass fishing out at Table Rock Lake. A few big walleye are being caught out there as well. And it's pretty good fishing. Top water out at uh, Bull Shoals and good trout fishing at Tanicomo. So we've got a lot to talk about on today's program. Well, let's get started. Let's go out uh, to Table Rock. And I'll tell you what's going on right now. The, the bass are really up on the points, those long points, gravel points, hard points with a little hardwood, some wood on it, and, uh, uh, and anywhere from about 12 to 25, 28, 30 feet of water. I tell you the key, take a look at this. Look at my depth finder, finding shad. I wouldn't even stop on a long point that doesn't have any shad on it. I think you're wasting your time. But as you can see here with my depth finder, you find that big ball of shad, you're going to catch some fish. A lot of spotted bass are being caught, some small mouth. Once in a while you'll pick up a large mouth. Drop shot fishing is good as anything. And they've been picking up some uh, fish uh, uh, on spoons as well. And uh, I tell you what, so fish the points out of Table Rock this upcoming weekend and really look for the shad. That is going to be the key. Drop shot fishing, spoons, you're going to catch fish. I know it without a doubt. And in fact, look at this nice spotted bass I caught the other day with my old buddy Catfish Rick. Boy, wasn't that a beautiful fish. That thing went over 20 inches. And so there can be some big fish caught, but there's a lot, a lot of 12, 14, 16, 17 inch spots that can be caught right now. Like I said, once in a while, a big old smallmouth can be hooked. Now, early in the morning, there's still a topwater bite going on out at Table Rock, and they've been picking up these fish on a variety of topwater baits. The spooks have been working, the junior spooks. They've been picking up some fish on Pop R's, one of my favorite all-time baits. And uh, up in the James, buzz baits have been working. But I tell you what, at times, what I found the other day, there'll be a little school come up, and they'll pop up just a little bit. You'll throw that topwater bait out. They might swipe at it, but they won't take it because this is the time of the year they can get a little bit of fuss, kind of fussy on top water. So I always have a spinning reel hooked with an underspin. Look at that underspin. Boy, I've had this for a long time. But anyway, it works great, especially when that fish will miss that top water bait or they just really don't want to take it. Throw that underspin out, count it down to about five to seven, slow roll it back to the boat, and you're going to catch fish. The other day also picked up a couple of fish just on small crankbaits. And after a school of fish come up, they wouldn't take a top water. So try a crankbait, try that underspin. Also, folks, try, uh, try some spoons, too, uh, down there when you're using your drop shot. They're not hitting that drop shot, drop shot real good. Try that either uh, a chrome spoon or a white spoon. Get it right under the boat off those long points, and you can catch some fish on spoons as well. Up in the James, boy, I tell you, they're picking up some nice fish on jigs. Uh, the football jigs pitch it out on those kind of steep banks like on the, on the bluff ends or out where you know where there's some brush. Work it down 15, 20, 25 feet of water, especially if you can find some brush down there. You can catch some fish. As I mentioned, uh, pretty, you went down, buddy? Hey, say hi to my buddy Tuffy. Hey, he's been fishing all week with me. He's tired. <laughs> we'll put you down, buddy. Okay. Uh, Walleye. We've caught several walleye. We've been going out on those long points looking for those big balls of shad, just like I mentioned with the bass. But for the walleye, do the same thing because these walleye are coming up on these, these runouts on these points. And if you find a big old point with a ball of shad in it, hey, look at that bottom. See if you see any activity. Get down there. Uh, you, you can use a drop shot with a night crawler that works real good or a small jig with a little split shot up above it with a night crawler. Just get it right down there anywhere from 12 to 15 to 20, 22, 20, up to 28 feet of water. Just kind of drag it back and forth. But we've caught some really big, nice walleye this week at Table Rock. Let's go. Okay, let's go out at uh, 
Let's go out at Tanicomo. Now, what's happening for trout fishing this upcoming weekend? Tanicomo's been good, but you know, in the morning hours, they're not, they haven't been anyway running much water, so it's real low in the morning hours. They've been running water late morning, early afternoons, two to four turbines. So late morning and early afternoon fishing is going to be the best if you want some running water. And then in the late evening, they're shutting it down through the early morning hours, so that makes it tough. So get out there mid-morning, early afternoon, and they're catching fish on little Cleo spoons. They've been picking up some fish on uh, just any kind of a little spinner, a little trout spinner, kind of working it. They like a chase bait right now. And they've been picking up some nice trout uh, by drifting still minnows. They have been the last several weeks. And they've been picking up some fish on uh, just uh, little power baits, but it seems like your hot orange, your orange or your hot pink, I should say, has been working good on your power eggs. Good trout fishing. In fact, let's, let's go over to Robert. Here's Robert who was fishing in Cooper Creek the other day, just two or three days ago, and picked up this uh, nice brown trout that went nearly eight pounds. Good going, Robert. Good, good fish. Okay, let's go over to Bull Shoals Lake. The lake's still high. They're running a lot of water through uh, Bull Shoals right now, so don't overlook the points for bass fishing. Get up in the morning and try, uh, try your topwater fishing. You can try uh, like spooks, junior spooks, just like Table Rock. Popars have been working, buzz baits been working, and uh, some whopper plopper fish out there as well. So topwater fishing in the morning and evening hours. Other than that, you can pick up some fish on the long gravel runouts, the long points on drop shots, and they've been picking up some fish on spoons, jigging spoons. Uh, the Dixie Jets have been working, the white slab spoons have been working, and uh, that's been picking up some, some nice bass along with the drop shots. And try the bluff areas as well. And the walleye fishing is pretty good out at uh, Bull Shoals right now. It seems like your early morning, the first couple hours in the morning and the late evening, using, uh, just using night crawlers. Uh, bottom bouncers, also jigging night crawlers, use your electric mortar and kind of twist it back and forth, kind of run it back and forth. You could pick yourself some nice walleye up out at uh, Bull Shoals. Speaking of walleye, let's go over to Stockton Lake. They're still picking up some walleye out there early morning, uh, late up into the mid-morning areas, then late in the evening. The flats anywhere from 15 to 25, 30 feet of water. Bottom bouncers with night crawlers is working there and off the points and the flats once again. And they've been picking up an occasional walleye out there by using some spoons, spooning right off the bottom. So check this out. But if it's anything like Table Rock, boy, look for the bait on these points and flats. You find the bait, you're going to catch some fish. And they've been picking up some crappie out at Stockton on the flats mainly. There again, look at your electronics. Find those big balls of shad out there on the flats. They could be suspended in 45 feet of water down around 15, 20 feet. And, uh, boy, you could pick some nice crappie up at Stockton this weekend. Speaking of crappie, let's go out at uh, Truman Lake. They've had some weather the last couple of days, but uh, earlier in the week, midweek, they've been picking up some nice crappie. And I, I tell you what, uh, crappie have been really good, really nice. Fit. Look at Greg. He was out the other day, just a couple of days ago at, uh, at uh, uh, Truman. And look at this stringer, big stringer of crappie. He caught a, a nice stringer. Good going, Craig. Nice, nice fish. So crappie fishing, much like the other lakes, are out on the flats. They can be suspended in a shad out there. They're picking up some fish by jigging some of the tree rows in a little bit deeper water, 15, 18, 20 feet, and around some of the cedar trees as well. But the flats, those big balls of shad, that's what you got to look for at Truman this upcoming weekend. Look at Dwayne here. He has a nice walleye. Boy, I think this has been one of the better walleye years at Truman in quite some time. And a lot of walleye caught out there using jig and night crawler combination. And they've been picking up some fish off these points by doing this and some of the flats. And uh, they've been picking up some real nice walleye. In fact, uh, this Dwayne, this particular walleye went over seven pounds. He just caught that a couple of days ago. Here's some fish. Now we don't talk about this too much. But these young men were out the other, a couple of weeks ago. They sent us this photo. I did want to get it up because we try to talk about all kinds of fish here on the program. And white bass, crappie, bluegill, walleye, bass, you name it, catfish. These guys, hey, have to, 
have to tip a hat to these guys because they go out at night and go bow fishing and spear fishing. I tell you what, that's a that's a wonderful sport, and they have some rough fish here. And I wanted to bring this up because uh, really nice, nice going guys. You earned those fish, I'm sure, and you had a heck of a lot of fun, didn't you? Well, that's it for the day. Uh, well, it's going to be cooler this weekend, 80 degree temperatures, mid 80s, a little bit of rain, but hey, sounds like walleye fun to me. Get out and get bit this weekend. Be sure to like and share, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. That way you won't miss out on all this fun, and if you have any photos, be sure to send photos or information at our emails at, uh, of course, fishingchums at gmail.com. God bless you all. Go out and get bit this weekend. Happy outdoors, everyone.